This conference will now be recorded. Yes, Joe, everyone can hear you. We okay, you got me? Yep. Okay. Nice to see everybody back again. Well, see or hear everybody back again. You ready? I'm ready. Everybody ready? Everybody's ready. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Let's go then get the show on the road. What are we calling this? What, what date for the meeting? April 28th. It's the April 28th meeting. And uh, we call that to order. And uh, roll call, please. Legislator Kelly. Present. Legislator Sweet. Aye. Legislator Thayer. Present. Legislator Well. Legislator Wilson. Present. Legislator Duchesse. Present. Legislator Pep. Present. Chairman Isabel. Present. Legislator Patel. Here. Okay, we're all set. Okay, we're going to have a salute to the flag, and I guess Cheryl has a flag. Cheryl has a flag there, so she's going to do that. Would you like me to lead? Well, you have to do you have to do a salute to the flag, right? Okay, I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag. flag. of the United States of America. Republic, and to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, through liberty and justice for all. So tonight's moment of silence, uh, we're going to start out with a moment of Thank silence. Thank you very much. And now we're Michael Green and David Schwartz. Okay, and now I asked uh, John to bring a little, uh, to say something to the uh, COVID-19 uh, victims and, and uh, the people fighting, fighting to help all us. And what I picked John, John, here? Is, uh, yeah, I, I'm here. I'm hoping you can hear me. Uh, I picked I got you first, now. Peter, okay. first Peter chapter five, verses six and seven. Humble yourselves then under God's mighty hand so that he will lift you up in his own good time. Leave all your worries with him because he cares for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, we have any public comment? That's, uh, I don't know how many extra callers we have, so Dan can tell you that. Thank you, John. Uh, looks like we've got, looks like we've got five callers that I don't know who they are. Okay, how are we going to do this show? You're the uh, guru at this. Want to go caller one, caller two, caller three, or what do you want to do? It doesn't appear that anyone from yeah, any of the callers want to speak. I can just say this is Sarah Barenko. I'm probably one of the callers because I didn't have an attendee ID code. No, I've got you labeled. Yeah, Ken, Ken Rose is there too. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is Jason McMahon Sitting is on. Me neither. Yes, we got you. Caller, say your name. This is Jason Subic. I don't okay. have a pen. Please right say now. your name. Okay. I'm, I'm going to stop talking now. Okay. Okay. Very good. Welcome, Jason. Thank you. 
Is there anyone else that wishes to speak? Okay, Cheryl, is there any communication? Uh, not at this time, but I do want to let everyone know that Legislator Headwell uh, is trying to log into the meeting, but he's having some trouble doing so. So I'm trying to help him with that as we speak. That's Joe. Okay, then we'll wait a moment for him. No, no, you could go, you could keep going because um, it might take a minute. So I can, we can continue. Okay, uh, the sponsor and the second are gonna be a little bit difficult to do this way. So I'm going to uh, ask for ha ask for a sponsor to approve the minutes and then uh, a second for that. And Cheryl will take it down because she's gonna have to record it, so. Do we have a sponsor in a second to uh, for the uh, resolution resolution to approve the minutes? I'll sponsor it. Yeah, we'll... I'll second it. Uh, Legislator Pep. Wilson and Pep. Okay, thank you. All right, and uh, is there any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Any abstentions? Now we'll get away from Cheryl. Pass. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's. Um, is there? Let the. Uh, I need a sponsor in a second to approve the budgetary transfers. Is there a sponsor? Uh, the legislator Pep, I'll sponsor it. Okay. I'll is there a second? I'll second it. Happen okay, will. Is there any, okay, thank you. I think I got to get used to saying you saying that, Cheryl. Is there uh, any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Pass. Okay, let's move on. Right. I'm going to need a uh, sponsor for the. Uh, Procurement record. Do I have a sponsor for that? So Let's move, Legislator Pepp. Six. Legislator Peppel. <laughs> Who's that? Okay, do Chastity and Pat. Okay. Is there a second for that? Legislator Pat. Okay, very good. Hey, is there any discussion on that? All in favor? I opposed. opposed. Okay. Okay, pass. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to old business. I'm going to ask for a, uh, a sponsor of a resolution that was vetoed. So I have a sponsor for that resolution. It was a resolution adapting introductory law of uh, 2020. A local law amending section 703. Just a second. Uh, section 703 of the Montgomery County Charter, Local Law 2 of 2012. Is there a sponsor for that? John Thayer. No. Sp okay. okay. Uh, is there a second for that? All right, we can't I'll get a second, second for that. For so let's... Discussion. Who is seconding that now? Martin. Martin? The mystery box. Okay, go ahead. Uh, all right, so if we have a second, uh, is there any discussion on this? Yes, uh, Chair, this is John Thayer. Okay. A uh, question I have uh, is this, the updated language, or is this the vetoed resolution? Okay, Chairman, if I can explain that. This resolution okay. is is as is vetoed by the county executive. There is no change to this. The resolution, the new local law with the change will be on our May agenda. 
Okay. Uh, with that said, I, I'm going to withdraw my sponsorship. As do I. Thank you. Okay. Very good. So the resolution, this the old resolution, dies on the table. Then. All right. Correct. Are we ready to move on? Are we ready to move on to new business? We need a motion to amend the agenda, Chairman. Okay, do we have to, uh, is that the uh, email that we got today? Correct. All right, that's the actual bond issue for the uh, recorder building. Is that the, what that is? Correct. Okay, I, I'm going to say again one time that aren't we, don't we usually have that in advance uh, instead of getting it in the afternoon of the meeting? I thought we had agreed to that. No comment. John, Cheryl, do you want me to take that one? Yeah, if you yeah, could. Is there a reason, sure. Matt? The, the actual bond resolution is, is pretty straightforward. It's more of a procedural item. There's not any new information in the bond resolution uh, that wasn't in the packet that was uh, sent out with the other corresponding resolution. Um, because we had to wait for bond council to get that done, that's the reason why it was added for Monday. Uh, because as we've talked about, um, the original intent was not to bond for it. Um, after um, looking at what our options were and what the best uh, uh, best decision moving forward was, bonding was the best uh, for a whole host of reasons. But uh, we got it the first thing Monday morning and uh, sent it over. I'll sponsor that resolution. Okay. Um, we need the sponsor in a second to amend. Uh, uh, I'll sponsor the amendment. We, we, need, we need to amend. I'll second. This is Martin. I'll second to, uh, the motion to amend the agenda. Agenda. Okay. Who's and we have a second for that. So I believe it was Legislator Thayer and Legislator Kelly. It was per tell. No. Okay. Oh, we have tell. a second okay. for that. Is there any additional discussion now? Now, what we're doing now is placing the resolution on tonight's agenda, correct? Cheryl, take is that point of order. Yeah, take the vote on it, Assuming Joe. It no comment. We have roll call? Yes, okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Um, okay, that's okay. Go ahead. I believe there was a call for Wait, roll you, call. You, you, uh, the, uh, Chair? I believe there was a call for roll call. It broke up. Yes, it did. Okay, thank you. Okay, so roll yes. call on the motion to amend the agenda. Legislator Pertel. Aye. Legislator Kelly. Aye. Legislator Sweet. Aye. Legislator Thayer. Aye. Legislator Headwell. He's, he told me he was in the meeting. He's not here. Uh, he may have been. I, may, I muted some people. So. Okay. Was he, a, was he a caller? He. I believe he is. Could we check? Carol. All right. I Legis got him. Okay. Legislator Headwell. Yes. Yes. Legislator Wilson. Aye. Legislator Duchesse. Aye. Legislator Pep. Aye. Chairman Isabel. Aye. Okay, the motion to amend the agenda passed. I'll sponsor the resolution. Okay, we're not gonna we we won't be okay, today. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. We gotta get to other stuff first on that. Okay. Okay, then let's move on to resolution 60, resolution amending the 2020 operating budget, 2020 public health. COVID-19 crisis response grant funds. Do I have a sponsor for that? A sponsor. Okay. Martin will okay. second. Is there a second for that? Martin. Okay, Martin. Martin second. I see it. I gear over in the corner there on that box, Martin. So, okay, very good. Okay, um, who was the first sponsor? Dan. Wilson. 
Okay. And Legislator Kelly? Yes. Okay. Is there any discussion on that resolution? With no discussion, I'm going to say uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Yes. Resolution passes. Okay. Resolution 61, resolution amending the 2020 operating budget, public health, COVID-19 crisis response grant funds, public health. Do I have a sponsor for that resolution? Mayor. John is the sponsor for that resolution. Second. I'll second it. Okay, Thayer and okay. Wilson. That's what, yes. Is there any discussion on that resolution? Guys, this is Sarah. Can, guys, this is Sarah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. I'll be clear. Okay. Great. Okay. So I just wanted to um, just talk for just a quick second about both of these resolutions so that you understand what's happening. Um, when we look at that first resolution, the 7700, that funding was given to us specifically to look at the preliminary costs. That uh, funding came to us at the end of February. We were told about that. So the 7700 was um, originally going to be used, utilized to just cover overtime costs. And we know that through this process, a lot of things have changed. So I just want to give you a brief heads up of what is going to be used out of that money. The 7700 we plan on using that for our Sheriff's Department overtime um, um, increase on on-call. The sheriff and I have talked about this extensively. We've had a 73% increase in our on-call um, phone calls that we've received from the start of this. So that's going to increase what we uh, allot to the sheriff's department to pay for the increase in calls to the dispatch. So that $7,700, I just want to let you know, is going to be used internally. Um, so we will we will be using that for our on-call process and to pay for our nursing staff who is working 24 hours around the clock. So that's the resolution 60. When we're looking at resolution 61, which is the 95,000, just to give you a quick breakdown of what we've already been allocated by New York State. Department of Health to spend that money on. We've spent $22,500 on testing, $650 on um, face shield equipment. We've spent $1,100 with Hill and Marks purchasing surgical masks um, and N95, not only to use for our staff and our employees, but to distribute to some of our nursing homes. Uh, since the beginning of this, Matt and I have been having conversations that we really wanted to support our nursing homes as the best we could. Um, so we purchased $1,100 in surgical masks, which we've given out to those nursing homes to assist in that. Uh, the $3,000 excuse me, to Amazon, we used that. We were told about three weeks ago that we were going to have an inmate from Marcy be released who was COVID positive to our care because he picked for some reason to live in Montgomery County. The work I did with the Sheriff's Office, the work I did with Oneida County on that, we were able to get that inmate to see that he really wanted to go home to his uh, family. So we um, absorbed some of those costs because the ACLU and Megan was involved in this case quite a bit. The ACLU said we could not without assisting him in finding appropriate housing, um, you know, and not take him into Montgomery County unless we had the ability to rehouse him and locate him somewhere else. So we spent about $3,000 getting um, supplies that this gentleman was going to need, transportation, housing costs, so that he would not reside in Montgomery County, that he would go back to his family in Rensselaer County. We spent $5,000 on um, N95 masks that were needed for our emergency room um, at St. Mary's. They were really struggling to get the needed equipment. And then finally, we purchased about $4,000 worth of gowns and um, other uh, medical equipment that was being requested 
that is being is very difficult to get from the state stockpile. So out of the 95,000, I know those numbers seem really high, but when I add all of those up, out of that 95,000, we only at this point have allocated about $36,550 of that money. So we still have quite a bit to spend out of that grant, and we only have until the end of June to spend this money. So I'm really hoping that through this process um, and the support of the, you gentlemen that I will be able to increase our stockpile with emergency management as well at public as well as at public health to purchase the much needed PPE equipment, which we know the price has you know doubled and tripled in some cases. So that's what I have as far as those breakdown of numbers. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Okay, does anyone have any questions of Sarah? Just uh, ask the question and then uh, best best we can do it, okay? Anybody has any questions? No? And then we'll go ahead with and vote on it. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Thank you very much for that presentation, uh, Sarah. Thank you very much. Resolution passed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay. All right. We're going to be moving on to resolution number 63 now, resolution amending the 2020 operating budget to transfer funds for work to be completed at the county courthouse. Do I have a sponsor for that? Can't wait, Chairman Isabel. We, we need resolution yeah. 62. 62. Okay. We'll go back to 62 then. Resolution number 62, awarding contract to McGinnis and Associates Incorporated Public Health. Do I have a sponsor for that? I'll sponsor Mr. Chair number seven. I'll okay. second. Do we have? Uh, go ahead. Who's seconding that? Number five. Do we have a second. Okay, second number five on that. Very good. Okay. Is there any discussion on that? All right. Then let's go ahead and vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay, very good. Resolution number 63 now, I'm sorry for that. Resolution amending the 2020 operating budget to transfer funds for work to be completed at the county courthouse. Do I have a sponsor for that? I'll sponsor. And a second, please. I'll second it, number seven. Okay, any discussion on this? It's pretty self-explanatory. Right, we'll take a vote on that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? Abstentions, I'm sorry. Pass. Okay, resolution number 64, authorizing the county executive to sign a contract for uniform services with Sintus Corporation, and that's Public Works. Do I have a sponsor for that resolution? I'll sponsor. Any Nine. second? Seven, I'll second it. Who was the first sponsor? Nine. Thank you. You're and, welcome. And second? App. Thank you. Okay, let's let's uh, take a vote on that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Discussion of, of that. Any discussion on that? Okay, then let's move ahead and take a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Resolution number 65 to award bids and authorize county executive to execute contracts 2020 road maintenance program. Do I have a sponsor for that? Number sponsor. four. It's, that's a bad, a bad thing. Okay, I mean, getting getting that, that's the only part that's hard doing it this way. Okay. Was now, that legislator point, had well? Well, I, I didn't catch who, who sponsored. Number five. 
And I'll second it. Nine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Very good. Is there any discussion on that resolution? All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Any, po any opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay, we we'll move ahead to um, resolution number 66. Resolution authorizing the county executive to sign an intermunicipal agreement for Luce disposition with the village of Canada Harry. Do I have a sponsor for that? Nine. Number three. Nine, okay. Number three, three. also? Yes. We the should challenge. have a little button on there, like, 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 let's make a deal or something like that. Okay. It's swap shop. All right. Is there any discussion? On, is there any discussion on that resolution? Yes, Chairman. I, I have a question. I, I don't know if, uh, go right ahead. Commissioner Mead is, is on the line, but, uh, the, the leachate here somewhere at, at some point should reach the, uh, Status where it no longer needs to go through a uh, through a uh, wastewater treatment plant, and at that point we can start to pond leachate instead of paying to get rid of it. Uh, have the engineers indicated any kind of time frame when we may be able to start ponding instead of having to haul this leachate? Hello, uh, is uh, the commissioner there, Public Works? He appears to be on, but I'm not quite sure if he can hear us. Did okay, you leave us well, or... that, that's fine. I'll I'll just contact him at a later time. But uh, that that is something that could be a tremendous savings at some point in the time, some uh, future point that we no longer have to pay to get rid of it. We can we can pond this leachate. So I'll just let it go at that. Okay, I think, I think, is, did he turn us off or what? I don't know if he turned us off or not, so. Chair, I, got, I have another. Okay. Brian. <laughs> um, okay, Matt, maybe let's, answer the um, question. Um, does, is Kanjahiri the only um, treatment plant that, that we uh, contract with or do we use other uh, plants in the in the county. I do believe Amsterdam is used as well, but not to a significant extent. Um, I know Eric uh, had a state grant in the works to create a pipeline from the landfill into their system. At one point, we did not get funding for that, um, but I believe the majority of it goes. To okay. Thank you. Okay. Legislators, right, any other questions? Yes, uh, Chairman Isabel. Uh, Eric Mead is on the line. He said that he was trying to talk, but um, he's he's here and would answer your question, Legislator Thayer. Good, Legislator Thayer. He's available now. Okay, uh, Eric, can you hear me? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure he's there, Cheryl. Yeah, yeah, he says that he can hold on. He's calling me back. <laughs> but let's just move on. I can I can contact him at a later time. It, it's not that important to hold the meeting up. Okay, Cheryl, make sure he gets on because we're gonna need him. Okay. Do you do you want to do you want to table that, John, or do you want to let, go forward with no, the no? No, let's let's vote on a resolution. It's just uh, in the future okay. where the savings would be. And I'm just curious if there's any kind of timeline. Okay, so then let's take a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Cheryl, do we lose you now? Aye. You did not lose me, but I just lost my connection to the county website. So bear with me just 
One second. Okay, resolution passed. Okay, very good. Let's move on to resolution number 67. Resolution author authorizing the county executive to enter into an agreement, grass and brush control on the county roads for 2020. Do I have a sponsor for that in 2021? Number, hey, number seven. Number seven sponsoring it. Any uh, second, please? Number three. Five. Okay, number three. All right, I guess. Bingo. All right. Any discussion on that? Okay, let's take a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any any opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay, and uh, gentlemen, I'm trying to go a little bit slower because uh, when we all start talking, it kind of flip flops between everybody. So that's why I'm trying to move slower. All right, resolution number 79. Resolution granting temporary re revocable license. Oh, how about 68? County legislature. Chair, Chair, Chairman Isabel, we need resolution 68. Okay. Just a second here. Clerk, that did not print on my sheets. Could you read that, please? Wait a minute, hold a second. It did. I had, uh, I, I, um, I have resolution number 68, resolution authorizing the county executive to sign a contract extension, Santos Construction with uh, Cooperation Department of Public Works. And that's resolution number 68. Do I have a sponsor for that? Number four or five. Number four and five. Four and five, yeah. Ed Wallen, Matt, get yes. our, okay, Matt, get our building opened up again pretty quick, all right? <laughs> We're working on it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay, right now we're doing 69 resolution authorizing county executive to sign federal transit operating assistance agreement, economic development. Do I have a sponsor for that? I'll sponsor nine. Seven or second. Okay. Did you get that, Cheryl? Pertel and Pat. Yes, okay, ma'am. good. All right. Any discussion? You got to repeat that, Cheryl, because sometimes it breaks up. So, any discussion? Okay. okay all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any any abstentions? Number four. Okay. Resolution passed. All right, moving on to resolution number 70, resolution amending 2020 operating budget, 2019 to 2020 snowmobile trails grant. Number and one eight. sponsors. Nine no, seconds. Okay, all right, very good. All right, any discussion on that? Who was the second sponsor? Nine. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Kelly and Pertel. There you go. Any discussion on that? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay, resolution number 71 authorizing deferment of payment 
to revolving loan fund economic development. Do I Nine. have a sponsor? Nine. Okay. Three. And three was it second. Pertel and Thayer. Correct. Okay, very good. Any discussion on this? Yes, Chair. This is John Thayer. Go uh, ahead, John. Question for question for Ken Rose, if he's still on the line. Ken, have you had any businesses approach you looking for this assistance? We had we had uh, three or four approaches in the beginning, um, but then a couple of them that did approach us did submit their payments for, I believe, March, and I'm just not sure about their April payments yet. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay, any other questions? Okay, all in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay, resolution number 72, authorizing the county executive to sign state approved child care facilities agreement, social services. Do I have a sponsor? Seven. Any three. second? Seven and, seven and three, okay. Pap and Thayer. All right, very good. Is there any discussion on that resolution? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All opposed? Any abstentions? Any abstentions? Pass. Pass. Okay, resolution number six. Hello, you have something to say, Cheryl? No, no Joe, I think there's a little feedback coming from maybe me. I heard, I heard somebody talking in the background on mine. I don't know where that was coming from, so it'd be one of the figures. The radio calls. guy gets feedback. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do, Ray? <laughs> resolution number 73. Resolution authorizing county executive to sign agreement for services approved in 2020 social services. Do I have a sponsor? Trey. Uh, a Aye. second, please. Okay, is there any discussion on that resolution? <laughs> Where'd that go to? Somebody's repeating me out there. I don't know where that's coming from. Sounds just like you, too. <laughs> Is it just going around the loop or something? <laughs> Somebody's got tape recorder out there, I guess. No, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Any, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Any abstentions? Yeah, coming. I, am getting, I am getting feedback. Joe, maybe okay. if you turn your speaker down a little bit. It's not very loud, Cheryl. If I turn it down too much, I, you know, at my age, I might not hear it, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to do 74 now. Is that right? Correct. 74 resolution authorizing the county executive to sign contract. Ram Jag Productions, the Sheriff's Department. I have a sponsor, sponsor. for that. Nine. Nine. Is there a second? No. Three. Okay. Nine and three. There. There you go. In discussion on this, is the sheriff online? Yes, the sheriff's yeah. online. Jeff. Yes, the sheriff is here. Okay, Jeff. Uh, this this is this contract is Ram Jag Pro Productions. What do they? What is that for? I'm asking that question. They contacted us uh, requesting to use parts of the county facility uh, to produce a movie that they were um, looking to do in Montgomery County. And this is the basic contract from the county attorney that is shared anytime somebody wants to use county property. And uh, you also see the attachment with the certificate of insurance. Okay. Very, very, very good. All in favor? 
Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay, let's do resolution number 75, resolution amending the 2020 operating budget, establishing position of an additional deputy sheriff, I'll see deputy sheriff sergeant and eliminating the position of deputy sheriff senior investigator. So I have a sponsor for this. Four. I'll second it after four then. Okay. Um, head, right. Headwell and Pep. Yes. Any discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Yes. Okay, let's go to 76, resolution approving sale of a surplus vehicle. Sheriff's Department. Do we have a sponsor? Aye. Second? Three. Four. Okay, uh, Sheriff, uh, uh, what, what vehicle are you disposing of? Uh, this is one of the vehicles that was set aside for the auction at the 2013 Chevrolet Impala, and it's something that DPW got in good enough shape that somebody could drive it off the lot, we think, we hope. And, uh, <laughs> okay. The uh, the person that offered the money to purchase it outright is the same one doing the movie, and they came and they looked at it, and it will be sold without any sheriff insignia on it, and it will be used in the film production with their own private magnets. Okay, very, very good. Sheriff, you going to make a cameo or what? I have no intentions of doing that. <laughs> He's going to be okay. Boss Hog in that flick. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. All in favor? Aye. Okay. All opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay, we're moving on to resolution number 77 now. Resolution amending the 2020 operating budget. County executive. Do I have a sponsor? Three. Seven or second. second. Seven. Okay. Matt, Matt, you want to explain that or no? Yeah, I believe I'm, Megan I'm is Megan's here. She's gonna she did this to us. I can actually explain these two. Um Whoever. one of them um number uh number seventy eight, which we're not at yet, is because we added in no, I'm sorry. Seventy seven is because we added in an additional car that we needed to insure. <clears throat> So when we got our initial insurance proposal that we budgeted for, the $800 to insure that car was not included because it was added after we found our insurance. So this is an additional expense. Okay, very, very good. Any other questions? Shall we go ahead and vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention, abstention, I can get that word bad all the time. Such abs, abstentions, there you go. Yes. Thank you. And we're gonna move on to resolution number 78. Resolution amending the 2020 operating budget. County executive, do, is that, the, is that uh, let's see, do I have a sponsor for that first of all? Seven. Second. Nine. Eight. Okay, nine. So eight. I think it was uh, eight, eight or nine on that one. And uh, is there any discussion on that? Any discussion at all, Matt? Do you know what that is, or? Um, this is. Sorry, this is Megan again. Um, these are expenses to the judgment and claims line through our insurance. Um, we've discussed these in prior meetings, but we need to um, move some funds into those lines based on prior expenses. Okay, very good. All right. Um, Chair? So any, other, any other questions? Yes, Chair. This is John Thayer. 
Uh, Megan, I, I thought that there was a discussion at one point that some of this had already been paid, some of those claims. I'm assuming this is to go to the insurance carrier? No, um, no these, are, these are to go, uh, what, what happened is we have a zero in those lines, and we need to put funds back into those lines because we have continuing expenses. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a vote on that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Abstentions? Pass. Okay, we're going to go now to Resolution 79. Resolution 79 granting temporary revocable licenses. County Legislature, do I have a sponsor? Three. Three, okay. Two. A second? Sounded like two, Joe, Mr. Chair. Okay, sweet. Okay, number sweet. two, okay. Three and two. Okay. All right, is there any discussion on that? Yes, Chair. Matt, Matt uh, is there has there been any uh, discussion on replacing that bridge, or are we going to just stay in this same mode? There was some while? discussion um, until obviously this whole pandemic happened and everything like that kind of got pulled on the state level. Uh, those conversations are ongoing, and we do hope to hold them to their commitment to do that. Uh, but not at the moment. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions? Okay, let's see. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? Pass. 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 Who was that? Okay. Resolution number 80. Resolution authorizing the county to move forward with subdividing, uh, let's see, 68 Church Street in the village of Canajahari. Do I have Nine. a sponsor? Nine. A second. Three. For talent, they Nine are. and three. Okay, is there any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay, resolution number 81, authorizing commencement of litigation, county legislature. Number four. Seven, sir. Uh, I'll second number four. Seven. Headwell okay. and Pep. Gotcha. Pep. Okay, is there any discussion on that? This is Megan again. Um <clears throat> this is one that we had discussed a, a while ago now, but this is the Litigation about the stairs at the county um, office building. Um, we had a contractor who never completed the project, and we had to hire another contractor to, to finish it. We're going after their bond company, but there is some potential to get some liquidated damages if we pursue them in court. Um, first, they're probably going to start accepting filings within the you know within the next month or so. So I just want to be ready to keep ground running when we when we have that chance. Duke has a question, I believe. No, I just showed up. <laughs> I've been here. I've been <laughs> voting and listening, but I think I think the camera just went on finally. Yeah, uh, welcome, welcome to the meeting. Well, I've been here. <laughs> I'm listening. Okay. I'm voting. Any, any other discussion on that? To commence the uh, litigation. Uh, all in favor? 
Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? It's nice yes. going this way on that for, a while, for once in a while. That's pretty nice. Okay, that's that. Resolution number 82. Resolution approving abstract of audited claims, county legislature. Is there a sponsor for that? Three. I'll, I'll second Three. it. Seven. 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 Three and seven. Three and seven on that. Okay, is there any discussion on that? No discussion, we'll go ahead and vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay. Resolution number 83, resolution authorizing the county executive to execute agreements for the FMCC campus labs and classrooms phase three and financial technology lab renovation project. Do I have a sponsor for that? Seven. Five. Seven. Five. Okay, very good. Is there any discussion on that? Do we have a representative from the college on here? to say anything or there's no questions. We're all set, everybody comfortable with it? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, everybody wake up, all opposed. I abstain. Any abstentions? Over Who's abstain? abstain? Okay, any, any, uh, any, okay, all right, very good. Pass. All right, very good. Resolution number 84, authorizing amendment number one, the contract with JMZ Architecture for design services for the FMCC Financial Technology Lab. Response? Seven. A second, please. No. John, did you John did you second that, John? Was it? No, sweet? I didn't. did. I'm not sure. Number two. No, you didn't. Okay, you're like you're like. Number two, second it. Okay. You got that, Cheryl? Yeah, legislator Pap and legislator Sweet. Okay, very good. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. That passes. Okay, resolution number 85, resolution on county treasurer to dis, uh, disperse mortgage tax money. And this is by the county treasurer. Do I have a sponsor? Aye. Five, okay, do I have a second? Three. Wilson and Thayer. Okay, very good. And let's see, any discussion on that? That's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Okay, resolution number 86, resolution authorizing the execution of a letter, a resolution for the west side of the former Beach Nut site between the New York State Office of Parks and Recreation and Historic Preservation, Empire Our State sponsor. Development in Montgomery County and Village of Ken Jahari. Development. Do I have a answer for that? Nine. Three. Nine. Okay. Eight with that. I'm burning the toast. No, I was making it. No, I can't. Okay, number nine. And who was the second one? <coughs> three. Nine and three. Okay. Retail and Thayer. Any, any discussion? 
All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Pass. Resolution number 87. Resolution of the County of Montgomery, New York. The county dated April 28th, 2020, authorizing Fulton Montgomery Community College improvements, estimating the aggregate cost there to or there of $250,000. Do I have a sponsor? Seven. Second. Number one. Okay. Captain Kelly. Any, any uh, discussion? The chair. Number four, Chair. Who is that? Number four. Mike? Number four, no. go ahead, yep. Um, I'm gonna support this resolution this evening because we're so far into the process with the college. However, in the future, um, I think we need to sit down and have some serious discussions where they don't assume that we're gonna be putting up $250,000 each year for these projects. I think we have to start looking at What's what's going on, and start to uh, maybe not put two hundred fifty thousand up, but but have a different number instead of this two hundred fifty thousand each year in the in the future. Okay, very good. Matt, do Anyone we else, John? Do, you, do we have uh, do we have capital plan uh, this embedded in our capital plan every year or, or not? Yeah, and I would defer. Uh, Yes, this has been part of a multi-year uh, agreement between the two counties and the college on, on what our commitment was going to be. This actually goes back to Dusty Swanger. However, uh, Ken can chime in here if he's still here. Um, there have been some capital project meetings and with some things that have uh, happened at the college and some changes that are happening at the college. And obviously the pandemic is going to change the way inherently the college functions moving forward. Um, certainly there's going to be some changes, but Ken, could you speak to the fact that there was a specific game plan laid out way back when with Dusty, um, and this was basically honoring that commitment? Yeah, it, it was, uh, Matt, and uh, County Legislature, uh, Pep, is what we did is with that a capital plan that's ongoing now at the college, and Mike, you know about it, you were on, you're on the Board of Trustees there. This was that $250,000 agreement that um, at the time that we at Montgomery County and Fulton County felt comfortable with. Um, and I haven't received their capital project request yet for, for going into 2021, but I should be receiving it at any time. And we did have a meeting about a month ago and they were going to ask for another 250,000, but I can tell you that it seemed to be, there might be some pushback from Fulton County on that. So as legislative headwell said, it's going to have to be a discussion that you know the board and the capital project committee is going to have to talk about. And there was no commitments made at that point for any uh, you know dollar values. It was just the discussion is going to be ongoing. Correct, Ken? Correct. Exactly. Thank you. This is this is number four again. I don't have any problems. Um, you know putting money in the capital plan. I just think that it needs to be something talked about uh, on a regular basis, not thinking there's $250,000 there each year and every year, um, you know, that we need to have a discussion and, and maybe a new plan since since Dustin is no longer there and, and we might be going in a different direction um, with the college and everything. Sounds good. Hey, Chair, this is number two. Okay, go ahead. Number two. Um, this isn't really about this resolution per se. It's it's about the next four coming up. Uh, I'm, I just want to really say that I'm disappointed about the communication of the legislature. Um, it's been two months, three days since our last meeting, and other than the updates from the executive, which thank you very much, Matt. That's you know been great to hear. Um, we've had pretty much zero communication. Um, I think we should have had a, com a committee meeting last month with a full board meeting after that. 
and you know we should have had a committee meeting this month. Um, and now we're being asked to vote on just south of two million dollars bonding in in one meeting with real you know with no real discussion. Um, and I'm not saying I'm totally against these resolutions, but um, up until up until a few days ago, I didn't really know much of anything about the recorder building. I, I there were talks of of moving out of the uh, out of the um, area that we're in now, out of the mall, um, but you know, eight hundred thousand dollars plus three to four hundred thousand dollars to renovate, um, five hundred thousand dollars in, in in equipment. Um, I think all of these things should have had um, discussion more than five minutes you know during this meeting it just seems like we're spending a lot of money in a real short period of time with with not knowing what the future holds for montgomery county um you know it's just my two cents I, I, you know i just wish we would have had more communication more meetings um so that we are all you know privy to this information Number uh, number two, I'm going to tell you that I was not informed of the uh, bonding for the recorder building until Friday, like you were. Okay. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that you were, Chair, um, but I, I do feel that you know we we should have been we should have been meeting. You know, there's obviously we're here all tonight. Uh, you know, it's it's a little glitchy, but we're here. We're we're doing our job. Um, you know taking care of business and to not meet for months and then have all these resolutions to decide on, you know, in one meeting, I, I just don't think that's fair to us as a legislator, leg, legislature. Chairman number I four. I can't say that I don't agree with you. Chairman number go four. Ahead. Go ahead, number four. I, I agree 100% yes. with, I, I agree 100% with Brian. And if we do not have committee meetings, uh, prior to our next meeting, then um, I'm not going to vote in favor of any any of the resolutions at, at that meeting because I think we need to have committee meetings to be able to talk about all the resolutions. We need time to discuss them. We need time to think about them, and that week is is perfect for that. And again, having these all these resolutions this evening, you know, um, pretty much last minute to vote on is uh i don't think it's fair to any of us and i was going to hold this discussion to the end we're under discussion but since brian brought it up that's you know that's why i'm bringing it up now mr chairman okay. john john, john duchesse district six yes go ahead mr duchesse I, I don't have any trouble yeah. supporting this i understand uh why why our colleagues uh would have liked a better opportunity to perhaps question and find out more uh, detail. Uh, on the other hand, given the circumstances, I thought that the presentation made by the county executive and and um, Eric and 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 Sean um, pretty much um, answered uh, the the types and the nature of the of the questions that that would have been asked um, because the alternatives and and what some of those costs would be. Were, were presented in straightforward fashion. So, uh, again, to repeat, while I appreciate your position, and it is hard sometimes, even voting on the smaller uh, resolutions without without um, lots of discussion, I think given the times, uh, I don't have any trouble supporting uh, this resolution uh, later on for the, for that spending for that recorder building. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's a good time to uh, to commend the uh, the county executive for for the work he's done here, uh, given the times and circumstances. And chair number two. Any other discussion? Any any other discussion? Yes, chair number two. Go ahead, number two. Yes, uh, uh, Duke. I, I I agree with you. I, I think the information. We received from uh, from Matt and from Eric, you know, very good information. Um, but, but keep in mind, 
we are a separate branch of government that needs to discuss this among um, to make a decision. Um, so yeah, we got we got great information from those guys, but you know we need to have a week of discussion or a night of discussion, a week to digest, and then come back the following week, um, with our, you know, with our best um, foot forward. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I know that wasn't meant in a negative sense, but I certainly do uh, keep in mind that we are a separate branch of government. Um, and I would remind my fellow legislators that I have both legislative and executive uh, experience and also uh, experience as a department head, pretty much like, like Eric. So uh, perhaps my perspective is a little bit different. I would just say that uh... Here, we, 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 I think this is all a good discussion. I think in the future, let's make an effort to have some committee meetings. I think we could do it just like this. Thank you. Mr. Chair, number seven, permission to speak? Go ahead, number seven. Just wanted to uh, indicate that if people feel this way, then, you know, um maybe we should consider tabling these for a month so that we can discuss them at committee if it's going to make people feel more comfortable i mean i myself um you know of these four resolutions the college was routine you know uh the um capital money of 516 for eric has been in our budget although in our capital budget, although optional, uh, the two wild cards were the $300,000 bond for uh, the, the improvements to some buildings, and of course the uh, purchase of the recorder building that were, are, you know, um, a little off the grid from uh, what we're used to seeing, especially under these circumstances. So, there, I guess all I'm saying is there's that always that option. Uh, so everybody can feel comfortable with them uh, to discuss them in detail next month, if if need be. Uh, um, myself, you know, I'm comfortable enough with the uh, recorder building. You know, looking at the math behind it. Um, you know, if you look at it, the least the difference between the least expense that we're spending now and uh, the amount of money that we would pay for debt amortization on a bond is, uh, as you can see from the financial impact state statement, the uh, sections of those, you know, no more than 20,000 a year in a descending amount of money for a, a piece of property that we would own rather than, um, you know, not to throw the money out the window through a lease. And uh, keeping in mind that our space down at the uh, the existing space uh, is is not uh, uh, in the best of shape for us to occupy to its fullest. So um, I mean, maybe that's information I was aware of that other people weren't. I don't know, uh, but uh, and if that's the case, and people feel more comfortable discussing this amongst ourselves, certainly see the merit in that as well as number two and number four have have indicated. So. I'm just throwing that out to the uh, to, to the uh, for discussion, if possible, as well. Mr. Chairman, it's John Duchesse again from District Six. Um, and again, I like to show deference to to these these questions. They're they're legitimate. However, um, we have to ask ourselves if we why would we wait till this meeting to 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 question the fact that there that there weren't any committee meetings i mean whose, whose responsibility is it to 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 have these meetings it's not it's not the county's uh, executive's responsibility he's bringing forth uh proposed legislation and 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 uh and spending for for a countywide project we're responsible and so rather than wait until now during the meeting to to uh, express doubts about the the way things are proceeding should have been done before now. If, if those, unless unless it's just come to your attention that we haven't had a committee meeting, why would you bring it up now? Um, uh, this number two, 
Um, I believe uh, back when we decided we weren't going to have a meeting, there was a discussion between I don't remember who, but I wasn't real happy that we weren't meeting uh, last month. Um, and, and and like Mike said, um, yeah, the, the 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 majority of these are you know boilerplate. They're they're the normal ins and outs that we do the resolutions. I, you know, I didn't have a problem with that per se, but to slam us, uh, that's a, that's not a good good word but to give us four resolutions that will almost two million dollars to vote on in one meeting is where i have the problem well then perhaps a motion to table is in order chair certainly an option number two is this number three yes, go ahead go ahead number two yes no it's number three number three okay all right go ahead that's all right. Uh, I to get back to resolution number eighty-seven. <laughs> uh, I I have a question uh, about history that I'm I'm not aware of. Uh, when it was the board of supervisors, we were annually kicking in approximately this amount of money to the college for improvement. Uh, at that time, I believe it was a five-year plan, and I would estimate that we're well past that five-year plan. So I have two questions. Uh, first question is: Can can anybody tell me if this has been an annual sum of money that we are spending toward the college? This two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yes, Thank that you, is Dan correct. Barry. Oh, yes, that, so, that is correct. It was a three-year plan, and this is year three, and it was two hundred fifty thousand a year for the three years. Okay. Well, we had a five-year plan prior, I believe, before the legislature and the uh, the government changed. Uh, and so, my my next question is, what is our student population at the college? Is it maintaining? Is it reducing? Is it increasing? It's they've struggled with declining um, uh, enrollment, and obviously, given that large gatherings are going to be very troublesome for the foreseeable future, obviously, it's going to be a tough time for FMCC at many universities and colleges over the next uh, 12 to 18 months for sure. Okay, thank you. Well, I, I guess I'm going to state my position here. I'm I, I'm troubled with spending the 250 because it it does, in my mind's eye, seem that it's that 250 thousand dollars every year for I don't know how many years. Uh, at some point, uh, particularly if population student population is diminishing, uh, we do need to uh, look at this a little closer. Uh, if, if they're not servicing the same number of students, then then we need to. Uh, Relook at this and and uh, figure out a a better sum that we can contribute to the college annually. I, I Thank, think sir. that there's going to be a big discussion uh, moving forward on how to handle higher education and and specifically for us the community college and I think anybody that tells you they know what it's going to look like uh, is lying to you because uh, we're headed into uncharted territory and they're going to have to look at distance learning and things of that nature in, in, in the short term and. Um, you know, we'll have Ken, you know, reach out to the president and uh, ask for a report for the legislature just to give them an idea of where they think they're going so we can get you some more information there. Thank you, Mr. Executive. You got it. Uh, I'd, like, I'd like to say something a minute, if I could. Uh, the I had uh, when, when the first when this came out last week, uh, prior to that point, we had 20 or 30 resolutions that were really boilerplate. Uh, we should have had a committee meeting maybe, but we were not able to because of the building situation and everything. But w until until last week when we were given the, these large resolutions, uh, I uh, was, was comfortable with what we were doing before that point. I'm not now, and I'm not, not, I'm not comfortable with what we're doing. I did call, uh, call and express my opinion to people. Uh, I don't think, number one, that we should be spending that kind of money at this time, because who knows what our budgets, who not, not our budgets, 
So who knows what money's going to be coming in from the state of New York? From what I understand, they, they increased the deficit several million dollars. How's that going to affect the money they give us for other programs that we do and things like that? So until that's resolved, I don't feel that this, this uh, organization should go out and bond another two or three million dollars to, to do this stuff until we know where we're going to be now. Matt is very confident that he's that things are going to get back on board, and which is great. And I, I hope they do get back on board. He's, he expressed to me that he says he feels things are going to turn around very quickly, and we're going to be all set to go again. But I don't feel that right now, and I do not, and I'm basically not going to support these resolutions. That's my position. Can we get there back to the resolution that's in hand, and let's work through these one by one? might make sense all the questions yeah, let's, 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 let's get by the college first of all because that's a normal thing if that's okay with everybody and then we'll go 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 from there is that is that agreeable to take a vote on this now or do you want to continue discussion on it i believe you I had a call the question, question chair okay let's let's call the question on resolution number 87 for the money for the college Okay. <clears throat> Give me one All second. Right. I think that's something that we normally do, and I don't think that should change until we discuss that for in detail. Do you want roll call on the call to question? Does the board wish a roll call on that? Just a vote. Okay, just a regular vote. All in favor of uh, resolution 87. Aye. 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 All opposed? Anyone opposed? Number three. Okay. Any abstentions? This is on the call to qu call the question. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Legislator Thayer opposed it. Did you, we have one uh, point of order. A point of order, Chair. Uh, I'm not sure there's a vote on a call to question. I thought there was, uh, John. I'm not. I, I I have done that before when I was on the council. Yeah, Myra. I thought that. I don't know if our rules regulation. I, my recollection is that when you call the question, it goes to an immediate vote. Okay. I thought we had a vote on the question. Okay. question. We just have to go ahead and vote right away. Is that right or no? Megan, I thought the last time this came up, you said you we had to vote on the question. There's two different ones. There's call the question, and then there's the previous question. Um, when I was on the city council, I used to call a question occasionally, and then we would vote immediately on the resolution we were. Doesn't it need a two-thirds vote? It, I think it. I believe it's a two-thirds vote to to proceed to vote. The, the, no. the way my system is showing is that the call to question did require a vote, and in your correct legislators, it required a two-thirds. You're right. Two-thirds call the question. It's previous question is no vote. So the call to question passed. So now you can go to the voting on the resolution. Okay. 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 Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a roll call on this. So go ahead. Okay. I gotta go back to see who sponsored it. Martin. No, no I think I did. No, legislator Pep. Legislator Pep. Aye. Legislator Isabel. Aye. I'm sorry, Chairman Isabel. Legislator Patel. Aye. Aye. Legislator Kelly. Aye. Legislator Sweet. Aye. Legislator Thayer. No. Legislator Hadwell. Aye. Legislator Wilson. Aye. Legislator Duchesse. Aye. Pass.
Okay, let's move on to uh, resolution number 88 for tonight. Resolution number 88, a bond resolution of the County of Montgomery, New York, dated April 28, 2020, authorizing very, uh, various improvements to county buildings, estimating the aggregate debt cost thereof to be $300,000 appropriating said amount therefore and authorizing the issuance of 300,000 in serial bonds of the county to finance the said cost and related expenses. Now, do I have a sponsor for that? Three. Five. A Three and a second is who, nine? No, Thayer and Wilson. All right, is there any discussion on this? Chair? Yes, go Gray. ahead, John. Yes, Motion go ahead. to table. We have a motion to table. Okay. I'll second that. We have a uh, second on that? Legislator Thayer and Legislator Sweet, motion to table. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what's uh, any discussion on that motion? Let's vote on a motion to table of resolution number 88 then. Uh, we're gonna do a roll call on that also. Legislator Thayer. Yes. Legislator Hadwell. Aye. Legislator Wilson. Aye. Legislator Duchesse. No. Legislator Pep. Aye. Chairman Isabel. Aye. Legislator Patel. Uh, yes. Legislator Kelly. No. Legislator Sweet. Aye. Pass. So resolution number 88 is tabled. Correct. We move on. We move on, we move on to resolution 89. Bond resolution of the County of Montgomery, New York, dated April 28, 2020, authorizing the acquisition of vehicles and equipment, estimating the aggregate cost, aggregate cost thereof to be $516,000, appropriating said amount to um, therefore and authorizing the issuance of 500 and I'm sorry, $516,000 of serial bonds of the county to finance said cost and related expenses. Do I have a sponsor? I'll sponsor number seven. Number seven, do I have a second? Number five. Number five is seconding that, okay. Any discussion on this? Chair, this number three. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, number three. I, I don't I, I don't know if uh, Eric Mead is still with us. Uh, he should be on. Question. I'm okay, here. My, I'm here. My, my question to you is: Will the world end if you don't get this equipment? No, sir. We'll keep moving forward as we have in the past. Thank you. That's all I have, Chair. Okay, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, John. I'm done, Chair. Who else? Any, I'll other, make, any other I'll questions? I'll make a motion to table this. Is, is that who's doing this? Number nine? Title? Yes. I'll second it. Number two. Okay, let's have a vote on that. Uh, I just lost my picture. Can you still hear me? Yeah, would you like a roll call vote? Uh, yes, I will, and I did lose I did lose the picture, so I don't, okay, yes, do that, please. Okay, Legislator Patel. Okay, like Aye. Legislator Kelly. No. Legislator Sweet. Aye. Legislator Thayer. No. Legislator Hadwell. No. Legislator Wilson. 
No. Legislator Duchesse. No. Legislator Pep. No. Chairman Isabel. No. <laughs> now we're going to vote on. Now we're going to vote on the resolution as it is. Right. The motion to table failed for the record. Okay. Thank Chair, is that? This is number three again. Uh, I, I'm okay, sure we're all aware. Of you. I, I'm sure we're all aware you need a two-thirds vote to pass this. Okay. Are we going ahead and uh, uh, are any other further discussion on this? All right. Can we call a roll call, please, on the resolution itself? Legislator Pat. Aye. Chairman Isabel. This is on the resolution. This is on the resolution. No. Legislator Patel. Yes. Legislator Kelly. Yes. Legislator Sweet. No. Legislator Thayer. No. Legislator Headwell. No. Legislator Wilson. Yes. Legislator Duchesse. Aye. Legislator Duchesse. Aye. The resolution failed. Okay, let's move on to uh, resolution number 90 now. This resolution authorizing the county executive to sign an agreement to purchase the building property purchase at one, I'm sorry, at one Venner Road, Amsterdam, and amending the 2020 operating budget. And I'll sponsor that. I'll sponsor that, number nine. I'd like to second, please, District 6. Okay. Pertel and Duchesse. All right, is there any discussion on this? This is the purchase of the recorder building. Yes, chair number two. Go ahead, number two. Um, is it um, is it your your thinking to move everything at some point to this building, or are you going to have a satellite office for the western end of the county? What what are your thoughts on that? Sure. The first phase is solely the Amsterdam office. Um, ultimately, we do think uh, moving everyone into the same location, uh, that is the plan. However, we are cognizant that we're going to need mobile office hours or potentially a satellite location in the western part of the county. But for the foreseeable future, meaning certainly this year into next year, uh, we will remain a presence in Fox. But that is the game plan for right now. Okay, thank you. Yes. Chair number four. All right, is, go ahead, number four. Um, I don't believe that this would be a bad thing to do with the purchase of another building. However, I mean, if I was gonna go out to buy a house, the first thing I'd be doing is hiring an inspector to come in, an independent inspector to come in and inspect the building, making sure that the building's 100% correct. Um, I haven't seen or heard that we've had an outside engineer go in and check, um, you know, this building, you know, is the roof in good condition, is the air condition, is the rooftop units good, is there asbestos? We don't know much about this building, and it could look perfectly good. However, you know, we could purchase this thing and find out that we we have another building like some of our other buildings. Well, actually, and that's that, not accurate the um we have had outside engineering in there we've been in there for three months probably no less than a dozen times eric has gone so far as to snake the drains with cameras to check out plumbing issues um and uh, we've exhausted uh that uh process is over the last three months and eric if you could speak a little bit about that as far as your inspections and it also included 
the staff as far as laying out offices right down to where, how, how many outlets we're going to need and where we're going to need them. So um, that I assure you, um, the, the legislature, that that effort has been done and we do feel highly confident that we will be able to get into that building for the price of the purchase plus the $300,000, which that number was not just pulled out of the air. It was uh, taken from all the estimates that we've had done um, both mechanical uh, and, and outside engineering. So Eric, if you could talk a little bit about your efforts there. Uh, Rich Campagnola was in the building and uh, you, know, you can talk about that a little more than I. Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had uh, CT Mail do a thorough inspection of the building, of all the mechanicals, the HVAC, the roof, the roof has been uh, updated and replaced as of uh, within the past five years after the Kazaneskis took ownership of the building from the recorder, the original owners of the recorder building. All the rooftop units have been replaced. Um, the fire sprinkler system has been updated every year. We have all the paperwork and documentation to back that up. I brought Adirondack septic out of Amsam in to camera the septic system to ensure that this building would accommodate 40 plus employees to start with. And we do know that we do have to do some unscaling of some old cast iron piping that is underground, which uh, Adirondack septic ensured me that they didn't see an issue with it of uh, completing that work because at one time there was in the neighborhood of 65 to 80 employees in there when it first opened back in the, um, I don't know, 1950 area, whatever, when the recorder started. Um, and and the, the building is structurally, structurally sound, even though it is constructed in the wetland area. Um, and it it's it seems as though it's everything checks out with what we want to do with it, and everything that I put in into my investigation with the uh, architects and engineers, we 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 felt pretty confident with what we were looking at. Hey Eric, this is Brian Sweet. Is is it the municipal water and sewer in that building? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is okay. That's a bonus. Thank you. Uh, Eric, uh, number seven, um, I know this is getting a little bit of ahead of ourselves, but obviously the the purchase of the building is for the short and long term. Um, any idea preliminarily what type of investment we're going to need to make in the building beyond this $300,000 investment to get the first phase of the building uh, accommodating uh, the first phase of our occupancy uh any any idea you know what the cost would be to further innovate it to totally house dss eventually um my my thoughts are to rehab the back half of the building with the um with, with like i said with walking through the architect and the engineering firm uh, with fire exits, we'd have to look at putting in and cutting in some windows um, for uh, for purposes of egress and things like that, uh, and the, the framing and the insulation that would need in the building. We were looking in the area of probably an extra one to one point five million dollars in the future would be about the investment uh, to make it uh, compatible to handle another uh, 50, 50 plus employees. Thank you. And if I, if you don't mind, and one of the, so when we look at, say, the high side, 1.5 million for phase two and 1.1 million for phase one, we essentially get a building that's ready to go. We're offsetting the 800,000 with a very small local share using our reimbursements to owning the building. You're at about 2.5 without any reimbursements included. And if we were looking to do that with a building, we so the building really is a bargain, and it allows us to then um, move the out of the courthouse down the road and, and, and handle some of the issues we have with the courthouse. But 
that's that's the number that Eric said is the the ultimate. You know, no skimming on it. That's that's what we're looking at here. Yeah, and and just to touch base on what Matt just said, um, we we did look at other buildings in the area too, uh, looking for in the neighborhood of a thirty thousand square foot building to accommodate that uh, amount of employees. If the whole if the whole group of employees were to work out of Amsterdam alone, if there wasn't another satellite office anywhere, um, we looked at a couple other buildings. We looked at uh, building up in uh, town of Amsterdam. It was the old Goodwill building. Um, to move into a facility like that, we were happy, you know, to accommodate what we need for all of uh, IT's computer systems. Uh, we would have to build a separate room uh, for cooling and such of all the computer equipment. This building already has that in place. There's an IT room located inside, which uh, Dan's team has looked at. Uh, my uh, Neil looked at it, and it's um, it's it's ready to go. The the equipment works. The HVAC system works for keeping that uh, IT room cooled, which is what the recorder needed for all their equipment. Um, so I mean, there's for the money that would have to go into some outside buildings um, to retrofit to our needs, we would super exceed the amount that we are really looking at putting into this facility. Can I chime in? Sure. A couple things, you know, there's a couple differences here, and the first thing is I think you know the 1.2 or point three that you talked about was in the future. That wasn't the initial, which was to get out of the location we're in now and get those people into this building. And I think that when, when Matt talked about phase one, I think that's what that is. I think no matter where we go, no matter what we do, such as a goodwill building, you know, you have in, in the business is called fit up. And the problem with fitting up a building that you're leasing is you're investing in the building and you're, you're never going to um, you're never going to own it and you're investing in someone else's property and to be honest with you we, i've had discussions with matt and we discussed real estate in the area that was available and there really isn't anything that was even close Chair number two, um, Matt, maybe maybe this might be a good time to, to kind of fill us in on the, uh, you mentioned the, the, the courthouse and, and different things, you know, maybe to make us understand a little bit more why we need to get out of the, uh, you know, the, uh, the DMV building um, to, to sure. create some space. Sure. The, um, well, the first issue is um, in our current, the, the first issue is getting out of our current location and finding a long-term permanent home um, in, in, in the area, uh, because we've, you know, that's where 70% of the clients are. Um, and, and we just, we, we needed to find a new, a new space for a whole host of reasons. Um, this past year, and obviously the pandemic has changed things a bit and pushed them back. Um, uh, but, uh, uh, administrative judge Katina, as well as Supreme court judge Slezak, um, and as well as the court system, um, it's not comfortable, number one, with the district attorney being in the courthouse, and that needs to change sooner than later. Um, and they need to upgrade and, and rehab that facility. They do have some money to offset that and to do some of the studies. However, you know, long term, that's going to be something that, you know, the county is going to have to be a part of with the state court system. So the thought was, uh, if we could if we could house most of DSS in one location, um, that would free up the ability to move the district attorney to where the county clerk is currently and then move the county clerk uh, over where the DSS is on the first floor of the Broadway building. So it's essentially there's some dominoes here that have to fall over the course of the next five to ten years. Um, you know, currently right now, you know, with the packed nature and, and our reopening in DMV, we're going to have some issues there because it is so tight. So um, just this year, uh, uh, Judge Katina and, and uh, Supreme Court Judge uh, have 
approached us and said, we need, we need to move forward with a plan and we need to lean on you to try to do this. And I said, well, uh, in order to do that, we have to, to solve this issue first. And this is step one. So that's why there's been, been such a point of emphasis from me on this topic, because uh, there's a lot that rides on this in the back end. And for us to be able to have a $20,000 there or less per year, and in 10 years, we're going to own this building and not have any payment at all. I felt confident, confident in you, albeit in a very difficult situation with less than ideal communication. We all agree that you know, this, this has kept us apart. I'm experiencing it even on the administrative side, trying to run the company with half the people there and, and people learning out every day. It's a challenge. Uh, but we, it was such a, a significant step. And my people, have, you know, if we don't do this today, there's a good chance we can lose this opportunity. Uh, that was that was a lot of the the push to to try to bring this up tonight and try to get it done. I have a question. Oh, go ahead. My question, Matt, is could you um, tell us how reimbursement is going to affect the finances on this? Sure. So this is yes. It, we were actually going to have the owner of the building hold the mortgage, and that was the plan all the way up into the beginning of the week. Uh, and our county attorney who is, uh, you know, very, uh, very in tune to the detail, uh, asked some questions of our bond council and some others and made the recommendation to me that we really suggest you bond for this, use an interfund transfer through the Department of Social Services to the treasurer's office to offset the cost of the bond, uh, because then that way, if we can get a lower interest rate or we want to do what we want to do at the property, we don't have to worry about having a private entity holding our note, uh, we have a lot more freedom and flexibility there if we are bonding for it. So it sounds a little bit more than it is because it's an $800,000 bond, but that expense is, is going to change. And actually the bond doesn't start, payment doesn't start till January. So it will actually prevent us from having two payments at the same time. So Megan was 100% on the ball. It was a little last minute, but um, she was, she really provided some good recommendations on how to go up and give us more leverage in this situation, um, and and that's why we ultimately tried to go with the decide to go with the bond because we could utilize that interfund transfer into Sean's budget from DSS, and then our local share is you know you saw in the resolution about twenty thousand dollars or so, and then it descends over the, the the period of the bond, and that local share is really what we are going to pay locally to own this building in. I have a couple of questions over here. Do you, you, the taxes there are taxes on that building, so it's not just totally free that it's going to you're going to be saving the mortgage payment. How much taxes on that building? The I believe the average taxes total for city, county, and school is about thirty thousand um, dollars. As you guys are aware, usually the school in the city is about two thirds, so you got about uh, you know ten thousand dollars of county taxes that would have come in. Um, that uh, obviously, if the county owns it, that would that would go to a nonprofit. Center. That would begin, I believe, next year. Meg is more familiar with the tax implications than I am, um, and if Megan, you're still on the line, you could probably talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I'm still here. Um, okay. Megan, Megan, can you hear me? I'm I'm still here. Um, can you tell me? Yep, when it becomes a county-owned property, uh, then it would become tax-exempt, um, and uh, so then that would go off the tax rolls, and I believe it, that would happen at the next taxable status fee. Um, you know, we always try to look into the ways to try and save the county money, so we'll be looking into that. Right, we're going to save we're going to save money by uh, by taking the building and paying taxes. Uh, it, it's just a, it's just a thing that came to get came together so fast. Uh, yeah, we'll they're going to get they're going to get a, a what? Who did you say? Aren't we tax exempt? Somebody said something. Yeah, you're still going to pay tax. tax. We, All right, but what is the portion we're going to pay? 
because it's a county-owned property. And, and, and all, and all of you, my biggest problem with the whole thing, Megan, is that we don't know where this country is going to go in the next few months. Oh. If this opening up doesn't come fast, it's, how much are we going to get delayed? How many people in the, in the city are going to be able to get their jobs back? I don't know how much money you're going to have coming in up there at the county. You may, you may have to change your what you do drastically. Um, I totally, uh, you know, we're certainly heading into some uncertain times. I would just reemphasize that the local share to this uh, is, is about $20,000 or less as we head through the years. And then, you know, we're owning the building in 10 years. And at that point, we will pay zero as compared to an $80,000. And, and, and how much, how close to our, our actual debt limit are we now? Our borrowing limit for our bond? Sean on the line? Yeah, how close? We're nowhere near it. Yeah, we're not. We're, we're not near our debt limit. We're only about twenty-three percent of our debt limit. Not, not our debt limit. Our bonding limit. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I'm, we have uh, about thirty course. million dollars in outstanding bonds right now. So we can. So we can continue. Continue to bond more. That's that's what you're telling me, right? John, what is our upper dollar limit of bonding versus where we're at? We're at about 23 or 24 percent right now. I know, but total dollars to total allowable dollars to borrow. Well, you're at 30 million dollars, and you only had a quarter of what you could borrow. So, so we technically got, so borrow we got up to 120 million. Borrowing more. Okay, very okay. good. I, I, I'm, I'm going to abstain question. from. I'm going to abstain from voting because I should not. I I feel in my heart I shouldn't vote for this because I work for the people where you lease right now. And I and I, I don't think your people should stay there. That's my that's my personal feeling. But I'm saying to you now, I just I don't feel comfortable going forward with it. That's all. Chairman call Isabel, I believe someone called the question. Number nine called the question. <clears throat> Go ahead. Is there a second. Call the roll. Is is there a second? Yeah. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Do we have a second to that? Legislator Kelly? Yes, let's move it along. Legislator Patel. Aye. Legislator Kelly. Aye. Legislator Sweet. Aye. Legislator Thayer. Yes. Legislator Hadwell. Aye. Legislator Wilson. Aye. Legislator Duchesse. Aye. Legislator Pep. Aye. Chairman Isabel. And I'm abstaining. You're abstaining on the call to question? No, I'm sorry. I'll vote for call the question. Fine. Okay, the call the question passed. Roll call on the resolution. Roll call. Please. Legislator Patel. Aye. Legislator Kelly. Aye. Legislator Sweet. Aye. Legislator Thayer. Aye. Legislator Hadwell. No. Legislator Wilson. Aye. Legislator Duchesse. Aye. Legislator Pep. Aye. Chairman Isabel. I abstain. The resolution passed. Is there anything else? Okay, now we have yeah, yeah we have to move forward to resolution ninety one now to uh, to issue the bonds. Correct. Uh, I don't have I don't have the revised one here. Do you have that, uh, clerk? Yes, Would you like me to read the title? Resolution yes, ninety one is bond resolution of the County of Montgomery, New York, dated April twenty eighth, twenty twenty authorizing the acquisition of real property within the county, estimating the aggregate cost thereof to be 800,000 
appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 800,000 serial bonds of the county of to finance said costs. All sponsored. Who sponsored? Martin. Okay, sponsor second, please. Either Martin or I, whoever did. Who, who, who do we have? Nine is a second. Okay, That's Kelly. Fine. Kelly and Pertel. Okay. Okay, any discussion on the bond? Yes, Chair, it's number three. Go ahead. Uh, this is to Sean. Uh, Sean, have you got any idea what kind of interest we're looking at? What are they offering these days? Uh, we're looking at probably around three to three and a half percent on a bond. For what term? That's a, this is for a 10 year bond. Ten. Ten, yes. And John, just to add to that, um, you know, by doing this bond, we could write refinance at a lower rate or potentially, you know, pay it off. Um, we did not have that option with holding a, having a private entity holding that mortgage. So that was part of the decision making process. Understood. Thank you. Okay. Any other discussion? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, all in favor. Let's do a roll call on it, okay? Uh, sure. Okay, Legislator Kelly? Aye. Legislator Sweet? Aye. Legislator Thayer? I'm going to give a yes solely with the uh, intent that we, it looks like we'll get a 50% reimbursement on this. So that's the only reason why I'm going to give a yes. Legislator Headwell? No. Legislator Wilson? Yes. Legislator Duchesse? Yes. Legislator Pep? Yes. Chairman Isabel? Uh, can I, is Megan still on the line here? Is she Megan. or is she gone? County Attorney? Megan? Uh, sorry, I was muted. Yes, I'm here. Uh, do you feel I'm allowed to vote on this or not on this bond? Um, Hello. I'm here. Um, you are voting on a bond to 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 fund um, purchasing the building. I mean. I mean, you tip, <laughs> usually, usually when you're looking at if there's an ethical conflict, you look at if you um, would would fiscal if it would fiscally impact you. And if you so, do you feel that you would be fiscally impacted by voting on this because you're with the county rent from your employer? I, I uh, don't think I would get physically. Uh, the county does not intend on staying in the building either in any way. The lease is expired, so I don't think there's any. Even my my uh, management will have no uh, impact from it. So, I mean, I'm, I can't I can't legally tell you how to vote. <laughs> But, um, but I can tell you that that's the decision process I usually go through for deciding if there's an ethical conflict as you, as you usually look to see if there's some kind of fiscal impact to you personally. None at all. So then I can ethically vote on it, correct? I'm, I'm going to respectfully not answer that question. <laughs> that's the decision you have to determine. Okay, so you're you're not going to tell me one way or the other, then, right? Can't tell you how to vote. That's a good correction. Voting on it or not? Is that is that a hard question to answer? If you're if you are saying that you will not be fiscally impacted, and if you are saying that you're not going that it's not going to fiscally impact you, then that usually would take away an ethical impact, but. 
I am basing this opinion based on the facts of the discussion limited. I, I voted, I, I abstained from the resolution to purchase the building, so that's their decision, but I I am voting, I am going to vote on the bonding. You're voting yes, Chairman? I'm, I'm making no money off of this one way or the other. Okay, so it's a yes vote? Uh, what, I'm, I'm, I'm bonding for this? Correct. You're asking, I'm voting no on it. Are you voting no? Okay. Legislator yes. Patel. Yes. The resolution passed. Is there anything else? Motion to adjourn. Is there anything else? That's, that's right. Haven't we done enough tonight? All right. I second. Patel and Do Kelly. Have a first and second. Yes. Okay. All in favor of German. Aye. 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 Have a nice have a nice Aye. gentlemen. Toodaloo. I got a question.